Welcome everyone and welcome back to another video. We are here to talk about the LA Lakers, but more specifically, Russell Westbrook and the interesting season that he has had. Now, if you don't know, the Lakers are in quite the spot here. They are just outside of the play-in or just within the grasp, you know, the San Antonio Spurs have been playing well the last 10. They've gone 6-4 and four in the last 10, and the Lakers have gone 3-7. and seven. And part of it, there's a lot of things going on. There's 80s injuries. There's LeBron getting older. There's the bench. It's the team itself. And then Russell Westbrook. Now, Russell Westbrook was traded to the Lakers. He wanted to be a Laker. He wanted, he wanted to be part of that franchise, and it just has not worked out to his liking. It has not worked out in favor of... The Lakers, and that's kind of been the story as of late in the past maybe two or three seasons that Russell Westbrook has just not been able to deliver on the winning side of the game when you look at his intensity and his and his drive and his passion for the game. And I don't think anyone would say that he's not a hard worker and he doesn't give it his all, but at the same token, you can make the argument this is someone that always wanted to always wanted to play his game his way and doesn't matter what anyone else thinks and that's why you had players like Chris Paul and Kevin Durant and James Harden, Paul George, Carmelo Anthony, you know guys leave you even guys like Dennis Schroeder and Freddie Jackson and you know if if a player isn't willing to work with work with other players how can you be successful on a team if it was OKC, if it was Houston, if it was a short time in Washington and now with the LA Lakers now recently Russell Westbrook has been playing well He's been doing a little bit better, but it just hasn't translated to wins now They did just play the Dallas Mavericks. He had 25 points eight rebounds and six assists But they got the loss and I just think it's just not a good team Even if LeBron was playing in the games who knows what would happen even if AD was playing in the games who knows what would happen because when all of them were playing they weren't exactly a great team to begin with so but more on Russell Westbrook you know his points are down his turnovers are just about the same I believe in December it was about five turnovers per game Jan uh, I I know in February they were hovering around that four to five per game and it's just that's the problem comparing that and the lack of shooting and just being able to score, everyone wants to focus on either either the points or the turnovers, but I think you kind of have to take them both. And he can't shoot from three, and he can't really shoot all that well now, and he's just not making other players better. And I've always been a fan of Russell Westbrook and what he's done for the game. You know, the triple-double seasons, he's a Hall of Famer, and I love watching him play. But at the same time, never really made people better never really was able to put the team on his back and really be successful and now you're in the la market and everything's you know way more important everything's elevated everything's more publicized but i think it's time that russell westbrook starts to accept the role of maybe coming off the bench maybe being a little bit more of a team player and just trying to fit into a system rather than the system fitting him if that makes sense and the lakers have been a prime example of that this season probably going to miss the play in and who knows what they're going to do with westbrook in the offseason because you can't keep him he's too expensive and he's not worth that kind of money anymore let us know in the comment section below what you think about this russell westbrook scenario do you think that there's a team that can use him willing that he would take a lesser role, maybe a third option, and work out on another team. Let us know in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys next time.